What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got the FIFA 21 7 minute squad builder rule book. I am absolutely buzzing to bring you guys this. So excited to try the web app later today and also get EA access tomorrow uh, at 4pm. If you guys didn't know that's when it's released, the 10 hour early access. And then obviously you can play the full game on the 6th as well. Um, if you do get the Champions or Ultimate Edition of FIFA 21. Now, uh, yeah, for the 7 minute squad series in FIFA 21, I've simplified the rules but ramped up some of the rules we have currently so that there's a lot more harshness involved, I suppose. It's going to be a lot more action, a lot more excitement, and essentially that's all going to mean there's going to be a hell of a lot more discards and it's going to be a hell of a lot more entertaining for you guys to watch. So uh, I'm also ramping up the kind of professional and production levels of the series. We've had a brand new thumbnail created, a brand new splitter for the locked players, and also we've got some pretty high-end video effects like motion graphics. So There'll be a seven minute squad builder little intro, like one to two seconds um, before we start the video. And then after like the marquee player and getting the formation, there will be another video kind of transition thing, segment, uh, which will then take us into the locked players and the timer. And then from there, we'll have another little transition for like one to two seconds, which will take us into the game. It's gonna be really, really cool. Um, and I just hope you guys will, will enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I've spent a lot of time trying to plan and simplify these rules so that there's no more like, I know, I know there's always gonna be the jokes about the seven million stipulations and you know how many rules there are in this series and how complicated it is, but I hope now this has kind of really simplified it and made it so it's just a lot more easy to follow and understand. So that's my aim. Let me know in the comments section below whether that does help uh, and that is, that has been achieved. Um, let me know after this, after you've watched this video. Anyway, uh, yeah, first seven minutes squad builder episode will be on Friday. That's gonna be with Tom. Um, so yeah, it should be a great episode to kick things off and we'll be doing a team takedown on his channel as well. Anyway, enough waffling on Jack. So if you've never seen the seven minutes squad series before, we have a marquee player. That's what the episode is gonna be based around. So let's say for example, Mbappe, that's the player we're gonna be doing it around. Then the second player we get is from a pack or we go into the transfer market and put in certain search criteria and tell each other a page and player number to use. Um, they can't be from the same nation or the same league. Then we're gonna be picking up picking out a formation from a hat. If you're an OG and you remember the very start of the 7 Minutes Cod series, you'll know that is how I used to do it. The reason I've done that this year is because when you spin formations, if you've both created a new squad, you both default start on 4-4-2. You're both gonna be start spinning pretty much at the same time, and then when, when one of us tells us to stop, we both stop at the same time. And that essentially means that we're both gonna get kind of similar formations or the similar formations are gonna crop up every episode. So now we're gonna pull them out of a hat, pure randomness, it's gonna be a little more diverse and hopefully give you guys a lot more, uh, yeah, just variation of different formations. Uh, then we are gonna have five locked players this year. Uh, yeah, ramping it up a bit. Again, I'm gonna show right now on the splitter, uh, show the new splitter for you guys. It's actually gonna be FIFA cards, ultimate team cards on the splitter um, so that you guys know the exact cards which are being locked for each person. And yeah, let me know in the comment section below whether you guys like that new splitter. Thank you and shout out to NortFX for uh, actually making it for me. It really, really is appreciated. Um, and I will edit that for every single episode. Do not worry. Then we're gonna have the timer for seven minutes. Now, the rules in this part have changed. There's gonna be no finishing before five minutes in the squad building. That has no impl implication at all. So some of the stipulations anyway for the squad building before we get into that. You can't move a player more than one position. You can't use a centre mid at striker. You can't use a cam at striker. You can't use a cam at CDM. They're just some examples. You can only move a right-sided or a left-sided midfielder to left wing or left forward or right wing to right forward. That's the only time you can use and move a player more than once because obviously sometimes to, I think it's to right forward you need and you have a player that's right mid, you have to put them from right mid to right wing then down to right forward, it, you know, that's that's the kind of thing. So that's the only time it's accepted. You can't use a CDM at CAM, just to stress enough. Uh, one icon max per team, that's pretty basic. A minimum of five nations this year. We're ramping it up, we're trying to make it more difficult, trying to make them more discards, trying to make it more challenging, that's the aim. Loans must be discarded for the player value. Say your opponent or I used a loan, and they're discarded at the end, you must go ahead, buy that exact loan you bought, and discard it. There's gonna be no 
you know, oh, it's a loan, just discard the loan. No, not having it this year. This is it, ramping, up, ramping, it, ramping it up again. Then, if a locked player is in the opponent's team, once they finish their squad building, you can choose whatever player you want to put in their team and vice versa. This is also a new one. This is what I was talking about, the five minutes. There's no early finish in the five minutes. If you finish your team first and you shout, I'm locked in before the, your opponent, you will start a goal up. One thing I will say as well, you can not change your team after you said, I'm locked in. It is against the rules, okay? Anyway, we'll move now into the perks for the creative squad building. So, the aim for the 7-minute squad builder is to build a 3-league hybrid minimum. For that, you get no added goals. You don't get a goal up. You literally have just met the minimum re requirements. And by doing that, you will have had to get a 3 players from 3 different leagues minimum. Then, for a 4-league hybrid, you can start one goal up if you meet the requir requirements of three players minimum from two different leagues, and then two players minimum from two different leagues. Then you'll get a goal up. Then for a five league hybrid, you need two players minimum from five different leagues. And uh, yeah, that's a two goal advantage, of course. Obviously, you can cancel each other out by matching your opponent with the same creative squad building. Then any players off chemistry must be replaced with bronzes. Obviously, if you've built a five league hybrid, but you've got a player off chem, you basically haven't built a five league hybrid. It's as simple as that. Um, any players uh, that do get sent off as well. So if you get a red card, they are going to be discarded. Doesn't matter. Don't care if it's team of the year Mbappe. Don't care if it's team of the season Ramos. If you slide tackle your opponent and you get that player sent off, they are being discarded. It doesn't even matter if the AI has done something and they get they discard it. They get your player sent off. I'm sorry, mate. In the bin. Get them out of your club, they're going in an SPC, all right? That's how it's going to be from nowadays. Uh, because there's too many people that were complaining, especially about me and some opponents, that would, when your opponent was through on goal and you were like 3 0 up, just to kind of protect your discards, you'd then go ahead and just slide them and take them out in the last minute. Even though they were like 30 yards away from goal and they still had to beat the keeper, you'd take them out just so they'd have a free kick like 50 yards or 40 yards from goal. We're going to eradicate that and just say if you get a red card, it's your fault, mate. They're getting discarded. If someone goes through the whole of the seven minutes without meeting any requirements, they simply just get one bronze. They have to mix up their team around and then your opponent or myself or whoever it was uh, has to go ahead and choose a position. Uh, obviously, it can't be one of the marquee players, but then whoever, whatever position you choose gets replaced with a bronze of your choice as well. And then we'll go ahead and dive into a game and the aggregate score from the squad building and the game will go ahead and be put together together and the loser, uh, the goal difference means how many discards you have. So say it was 2-2 in the score building and 3-0 in the game to me, I would have five goals and my opponent would have two and I would have three discards against them. Any players that hit must be discarded uh, by, be, by getting put into an SBC. So simple as that. That. Hopefully you guys like the sound of all of these new rules. Um, I suppose they're not really new rules, they've just been fine-tuned and essentially just simplified but ramped up and made more challenging. So I really feel, feel like this is going to make this series a lot more interesting and hopefully, fingers crossed, you guys will love the ideas of the new rules as well. Like I said, the first episode is going to be out on Friday with Tom and I guess that's going to be the first episode of Team Takedown as well, which will be uh, with me on his channel. So yeah, make sure you go ahead and check them out and be tuned for Friday. I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. Cannot wait to get my hands on FIFA 21. Uh, remember, the web app is out very, very shortly at 6 p.m. today, Wednesday the 30th of September. So please let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas for the rules, if you want them changed. I don't really think I'll change them that much, but if you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comment section below. And hopefully you guys like all the new thumbnail and everything. Um, so yeah, peace.